welcome back to day two of the PVR application build. So in this video, we'll be implementing two screens. So the initial screen is called as the home screen and the second screen is basically called as the movie screen. So inside the home screen, we pretty much have different sets of films being rendered, which has a image, the name of the film, the genre, as well as the language. It also includes the book button. So on press of the button, we will be taken to the next screen. Uh, which contains different sets of malls to be selected as well as the dates which are to be selected so we will be implementing this in today's video and if you new to my channel please hit the like button and subscribe for more such content yeah so let's get started so the first step is to initialize a expo manage project so let's go do that i am currently in my build folder so let me write a uh, expo in it and uh, the project name so let's write your application and let's hit enter okay so this should ask us to choose a template so here we are going to choose the first one as usual the blank template and hit enter so this should pretty much install all the javascript dependencies required to build our project from scratch okay so let's wait for it to install so this is pretty much the design that we'll be implementing so this is the initial part of the home screen that is the header part and over here these are the images that are being rendered uh, using a flat list over here we are rendering the malls and the dates which are to be selected okay so i think the the project is ready so let us go to that project okay and then let's write code dot all right so let's close the previous one that's not required now and let us start building up the application okay so this is the app.js so here we are basically returning a text which says open up app.js to start working on your app and let and let me st first start uh running our application okay so new terminal and then expo start okay so let's go to our developer tools so this should open up the developer tools on chrome okay so we have pretty much five options to view our application that is the android device or emulator on ios simulator and these are the three options that is web browser or email or publish or republish project or you can even scan your application using this qr code so that we can see the application in your own phone so let me first hit the second option as usual that is run on ios simulator so this should install the the project into our simulator so that we can see the text that we are returning over here okay so let's wait for that to happen i think it should install all the dependencies now and it should build the javascript bundle right okay yeah, so as you can see, we can see the text coming up on the screen. So it is centrally aligned because of these two uh, styles that is align items of center and justify content of center. Okay. So first thing what we do is we create uh, three folders uh, as usual. So the first one is for our uh, components. Okay, so the next one is for our screens. And again, the last one is for our data that we'll be using. Okay. Yeah, so let's start building it up from over here. So the first thing we want is to initialize the home screen. So let's go to our screens folder and let us create a new file and write home screen.js. And then let us write rnfes to get the shorthand snippet, uh, save the file once. So to get the snippet, you need to have installed uh, ES7 snippets. That is, I think this one. Yeah, so this one should be installed. So let me go back to the home screen. Okay. and. Uh, let me import our home screen inside our app.js okay so instead of the text let us write home screen and import it save the file yeah so we can see the home screen coming up on the screen so let us remove these two uh, styling that is not required yeah so now as you can see uh, the home screen text is almost touching the the scroll bar i mean the the status bar over here so let us go remove that i mean make the changes so instead of the view we are going to make use of a safe area view all right so let's go to that so safe area view save the file yeah so now you can see home screen coming in the correct position so the first thing we want over here is the header part so let us go initialize a header inside our components folder so components new file and then let us write header.js and then rnfes to get the shorthand snippet and save the file once so inside our home screen instead of the text we are going to import our header okay so import header from the components folder and save the file yeah so you can see header coming up on the screen 
so now let's start designing our header so the first part is pretty much hard coded so let's go do that so instead of the text we are i am going to initialize a image background that we'll be using so let's import the image background from the react native okay so i have the source with me so let's let me just go copy that so over here copy and paste the source so let us provide some styling to it okay so let's say a uh, not the width a uh, aspect ratio of 5 by 2 okay and a height of 170 i'll be sending the the image links as well as the data in the description so don't need to worry about that so let me let me give a format once yes so let me save the file yeah so you can see the image coming up on the screen so the next thing we build is this part the the view which contains the book button all right so inside our image background let us initialize a pressable okay so the text which says we have the initial text which says releasing in one days okay so first let us give some style to the pressable so that we can see it on the screen okay so let's write position of absolute okay uh, let's also give it a height of 130 and as it and, and as you know the background color should be white for this why am i not getting the autocomplete gonna be white I think that's a small g okay so the next thing what we do is a bit of padding as well okay so after the padding we have a bit of border radius okay and let's say top of 140 and left of 20 let's also give a bit a uh, width of let's say 82 percentage save the file okay cannot find pressable imported from native press albe pressable again wrong spelling yeah save the file yeah so you can see the text coming up the view coming up but but the background color of the the entire screen as well as the view is is pretty much white so we do not want that so let's change the color uh let us choose a lighter color okay so let's say we choose this one so that we can differentiate between the background of the home screen as well as the header thing okay so instead of uh so let's go to the home screen over here let us pass the style attribute and let's say background color let's give a flex of one yeah so we can now differentiate it but i think it is it's even more light over here okay so let us choose let's say this one so save that yeah i think we are now able to differentiate it uh in the in the correct manner so i think we are good to go so next thing uh we have is the uh pretty much the name so after the text let's make use of a view this is going to contain another view so this view contains two texts okay so one is for the name okay uh, and the second one is for the language okay let's also give that dot by writing option eight okay so next what happens is the language and after this view we have the pressable this is going to have the text which contains book pretty much this is the book button so let me save the file yeah so you can see all the data coming up so over the view that is the top view uh let's give a flex direction of row so this pretty much contains two children a row and then align items of center 
okay let's also write justify content of space between save the file okay let's also give some uh, spacing on the top because it's almost touching the first text okay yeah now it's looking good okay so now for the text which contains the name of the film let us give the size of 16 okay and a font weight of bold all right and for our language let's again give a font size of 16 a font weight of 400 and the color is going to be gray save the file once and some spacing on the top okay so the next thing we are going to style is the first text that we have initialized over here okay so font size of 14 a font weight of 500 and a color of gray and let's save the file okay so now let us style the uh, button that is the book button so over here for the pressable uh, let us give a background color first so that is going to be ff c uh, 40 c okay a bit of padding let's say 10 and a border radius of 6 so for the text we have a font size of 14 have to provide this style okay font size of 16 let's make the changes later okay instead of 16 14 over here 400 and color is going to be uh, black itself so text align center okay now let me save the file yes yeah, so uh, now let us provide some spacing towards the right to the pressable okay let's say margin right of 10 yeah i think now it's looking good i think it it has a font weight of 500 yes so the last thing over here contains the genre okay uh, yeah so over here no, they should come below the view so this pretty much contains a basic text and to see thriller then action save the file so for the text let's provide some spacing on the top okay and then it's eight okay uh, so for the size it's going to be 15 and font weight of 500 so save the file once yeah now it's looking good yeah so pretty much we we made use of a image background and inside that we designed this view which contains like uh, uh, three texts that is the first one is this one the second one and the third one and on the right it contains the book button so the next thing we do is we will build this part okay so that is going to happen after the image background so let us make use of empty view and provide some spacing to it since we have positioned uh, this view uh, with a position of absolute okay let's say a margin top of 100 save the file so now if i write if i start writing a text over here let's say hello it should be in the correct direction right yeah let's provide 110 over here yeah so uh, from here we can start uh, styling up the remaining part so we have to get the data for this i have the data over here so let me just copy that so let me initialize it over here at the start of the component and over here let's make use of a scroll view so instead of the text So let's write scroll view. Is the spelling right? Yeah, okay. Uh, let me import it from React Native. Okay, so let's make use of the map function and then let's map all the data. Okay, so types.map for every item. 
inside the types we are going to return a text let's say a view in that it contains the text so it is going to be a uh, item dot name okay that's how we access the value so let's write item dot name and let's also provide the key it's going to be the index okay so now we want it to be in a horizontal fashion so let us write an attribute over here that is horizontal equals to true and let's save the file yeah so you can see all the data coming up so over here for the view let us provide a basic styling that is a margin of 10 right so for the text not for the text i think we can give it for the view itself that is the border say border color is going to be c0 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 okay so a border width of one and a border radius of four and for the text let us give a text line center a font size of 14 and a font weight of 500 so that let me save the file yeah we are getting everything so let's also provide some internal spacing that is padding of 10 yeah so let us decrease the border width okay it's looking one is looking a bit too big so let's write 0 0.4 yeah i think now it's looking good right we are able to scroll so let's remove that uh, horizontal scroll indicator so let us write show horizontal scroll indicator and let us set it to be false okay so this is pretty much about the scroll view yeah, we can scroll through the data all right so now we will start rendering our images that is these images the main images so let me initialize so now uh, we will make use of a flat list what we'll do is inside our app.js that is inside our home screen instead of writing our header we will uh, show something called as the movie cards so let me first initialize that so into our components a new file uh, let's write movie cards dot js then rnfes to get the shorthand snippet so inside our movie cards we'll be rendering a flat list okay and inside our home screen instead of the header we'll be showing the movie cards because if the screen becomes big that is if we need to uh, make use of a scroll view the, uh, instead of a safe area view and we also have a flat list inside a scroll view we are uh, going to get a warning okay so that doesn't look good so we will we will make use of a flat list and the flat list contains an attribute called as list header component so inside that we will provide the header okay so that would work fine so let me go to a movie cards and uh, let us uh, import the flat list uh, from react native first okay so let us also import the data i have already made the data it's there in the drive link so let's just copy that and this is for the movies okay so let us write a new file inside our data it says movie.js pretty much paste it okay let's remove all the unnecessary changes and save the file so this is pretty much all the movies so each of the data contains a unique id the image of the film the name the language as well as a genre okay so in, inside our movie cards uh, let's import uh, first of all the data that is movies from the data uh, movies okay so let's initialize it so const data equals to movies all right so instead of the text we are going to render the flat list so flat list contains uh, two uh, basic props that is the data one so in our case data is going to be the data that we have initialized so the next one is going to be the a render item over here this takes the item and we are going to return a pressable for each item present inside our data okay so over here so first let us initialize i mean first let us uh, show the image on the screen 
okay so let us also import our pressable as well as the image okay so pressable and the image so let us give the source and uri for the image it's going to be uh, if you go to the movies it's going to be item dot uh, image that's how you access the uh, the image so item dot image so let's give the styling so that we can see it on the screen okay let's give the aspect ratio of a 2 by 3 and a height of 270 is it 270 no it's 240 so save the file once okay nothing is going to happen because we have not included our movie cards inside our home screen okay so just beneath the header let's write a uh, movie cards all right and then let's save the file yeah so as you can see we can see all the images coming up over here all right but we do not want to look like this we want the entire screen to scroll okay so we'll make the changes later so now what we'll do is i think we can do it right now okay so instead of the header let's remove the header first save the file so inside our movie cards the flat list as i told contains a prop which says slash header component so we are going to write header and let's import our header from our header itself so it's there in the components folder itself so save the file yeah so now we can scroll through the entire screen okay because flat list is itself a scroll view and now it's working fine so we want it to come in two columns like this so let's provide that attribute as well so over here let's write number of columns and set it to be two save the file yeah so as you can see we can see it coming in the correct manner but it is not aligned properly so let's do that okay so for the pressable uh, let's provide a margin let's say 10 okay so for the image it has a border radius so let us provide that let's say border radius of 6 okay it's being applied uh, let us give some margin left to the image okay I think it's looking good yeah so let's remove that uh, scroll bar again the vertical scroll bar okay and we are it's not a scroll okay it's a scroll indicator right so save we're going to set it to false and save the file okay so next thing we will start designing the the text attributes that is the name and the language okay so right after the image let's initialize a text and we are going to access that uh, by writing item dot name okay okay so let's remove the margin left from the image and give it to the pressable itself so it's going to work or can we give margin horizontal because it's not aligning properly right 20 15 yeah, I, I think margin yeah I think margin horizontal 15 looks good okay yeah so for the uh, the name come on style let's write a uh, font size of 16 and font weight of bold save the file once and if the name is more than 16 characters we are going to cut it okay so let's write substring of 0 comma 16 is going to add the dots over there okay it's pretty much actually showing for each of the film that is not right okay let's also provide the width because it's almost going out of the screen okay so over here let's write width of 200 nope 120 let's provide 140 
minus 70 all right i think 170 looks good right yeah 170 looks good so now let's provide some spacing towards the top uh, let's write yeah margin top of 10 okay uh, i don't think it is bold right okay fonts is not being applied because i've not given it properly i don't think it's bold yes let's keep it 600 all right so the next thing what we do is we are going to uh, initialize another text which uh, gives information about the language over here let's write item dot language and save the file come on let's also write the hard-coded value okay and that dot by writing option 8 yes so a bit of uh, spacing let's say 4 and the font size is going to be 15 and the color is going to be a uh, gray save the file okay so after this we have another text uh, which gives information about the genre okay so let's write text and over here this is going to take item dot what was the name let's check it in our yeah it's genre itself so let's write item dot and save the file okay let's give the same piece of styling for the genre as well and let's not give the color of gray okay let's give a font weight of 500 and decrease the font size okay i think now it's looking good okay so now we have the the button which says book so we will pretty much copy it from our header component that we have designed that is over here the button yeah this one let's just copy that and let us paste it right after the text decibel is imported and save the file actually we do not want that much width okay let's give a specific width let's say 100 yes 100 is looking good a bit of uh, spacing towards the top as well yeah so for the button over here let's give a margin top of let's say 10 yeah i think it is looking good we are able to see all the images that have that are present in the data which is the book button the name the the image the genre as well as a language okay so now on press on this uh, the button we should be navigate uh, we should be able to navigate to the next screen so for that we need to install a react navigation to our system so let's go to that okay so let's write react navigation so let us read the docs yeah so the first step is to install the dependencies so since we're using yarn let's copy that all right so let's make use of a new terminal and paste that over here so since we are using the expo manage project we are going to uh, install this one so copy that and paste it over here so now let us move on to hello react navigation and install the native stack okay copy that and pretty much paste it over here i think all of the dependencies required for navigation have been installed so now we need to uh, create a stack navigator as they've given over here so let let us do that okay so we are going to click on app.js and new file Let's write a stack navigator.js 
and then rnfes to get the snippet save the file uh, let's delete this terminal that's not required now so let's copy the code that i've given over here that is the navigation container and the stack dot navigator <coughs> and instead of the view we are going to return this okay so let's import our navigation container from react navigation slash native now let us uh, initialize the create native stack navigator that is this one and let me paste it over here so let me import this as well okay so the first screen we have is the uh, home screen and the name we have given is home so let us import the home screen from the screens folder okay so over here inside app.js uh, instead of the view okay we are going to return a stack navigator and let's import it as well so the next thing we'll uh, use the status bar and let's give this style and set it to be light or auto save the file now we should see nothing happening yeah uh, we did not get any errors that's good and we can see the home screen coming up with the title uh, which says home but we do not want the title inside a home screen that is the home so let us go remove that so if you go to a stack navigator we can provide some options over here so let's write options and uh, over here we are going to say header shown and we are go and we are going to set it to be false save the file yes that should be gone so now uh, let us create another screen okay so inside our screens folder a new file uh, let us write a movie screen dot js okay so rnfes to get the short and snippet save the file so now we have created the screen so let us initialize uh, it inside our stack dot navigator uh, stack navigator dot js so let's write stack dot screen uh, name is going to be movies component is going to be movie screen let's import it from screens folder and we are going to provide the same options that is we do not want do we want it no we do not want it so let's copy the options paste it here and let's close it okay so now we have set up the stack navigator that is the second screen we have set it up so now let me go to the movie cards where we have the book button let's try navigating to the second screen okay so over here let's write const navigation equals to use navigation so we'll be making uh, yeah, use of the use navigation hook uh, so on press of the button let's first check if it's working correctly so let's write console dot one okay uh, u uh, you pressed on over here we are going to give a message which says item dot name pretty much the name of the movie so it should give the correct name that is the button we pressed on so if i press on the first one yeah it's giving the correct name so let's say if i press on this one yeah uh, we are getting the correct name again okay so pretty much it's working fine so now let us navigate to the next screen so instead of console out warning the message let's write navigation dot navigate so over here we need to provide the uh, name of the screen we want to navigate to so if you uh, have seen the stack navigator we want to navigate to the movie screen and the name we have given is movies so let us write movies over here okay let's also provide some data so the data we want is pretty much the name of the film that's it i think and in the later videos we want uh, other data as well that is the date so that we'll do in the next video so over here let us write uh, name is going to be how to access it i think uh, item dot name okay so let me save the file and let's give it a try okay yeah so we are going into the movie screen so inside our movie screen that is over here let's again make use of a safe area view all right so instead of the view over here let us write safe area view 
and save the file. So how to get the information that we passed in the previous screen? We will make use of the use route hook. So over here, let's initialize it. So const root equals to uh, use route. Uh, let us import it as well from react navigation slash native. And let us just console.log the data that is root params. So instead of the movie screen, the text, we are going to uh, say the name that is root.params.name. So it should give me the name of the screen, uh, name of the film I am into. Okay. So yeah, we are getting the correct film name that we are coming into. Okay. So let's try this one. Yeah, we are coming into the correct screen. That is a nice try. So now what we do is we are going to design the name that is the, uh, the back button and the basic icons that are present over here. So let me initialize the view. Okay, so over here. Uh, so the first thing is the, the back button. So let us first go grab that icon. So over here, export dot icon so fi i. Or let us search for back. Yeah, let's use it from my icons. Copy the import code. And copy the render component code. And we're gonna paste it over here. Okay, so give save the file. Okay, let's make use of another view which contains this view. Okay, so this view is for the left part. So the right part contains pretty much three icons. So let's copy that again. I mean, let's get the icons. It is like uh, the search filter as well as the share one. Okay. So the search one, again from my icons, just uh, render component code. We have already imported it. Second one is the, I guess it's the filter icon. Yes, again from ion icons, just copy the render component code and paste it over here. And the last one is, I think, the share icon, right? Yes. So, share icon. Anything from ion icons? Nope. Okay, let's just use this one because it's from ion icons again we do not want to import it from other set okay save the file yeah so we're getting all the required icons give it a format once yeah so for the out of view which contains two children that is this one and this one we are going to write the style that is a flexor action of row and then align items of center let's also write justify content come on and let's write space between save the file so for this view which contains all the three icons uh, let's write a uh, flex action of row align item center and then we do not want justify content space between let's remove that and for the second icon itself we are going to give a margin horizontal of 10 all right and for the auto view, that is this one, let's give some margin right. It's almost touching the right part of the screen. So let's say margin right of 10 and save the file. Yeah, I think it's looking good. So for this view itself, that is the first children. Yeah, let's give lecture action of uh, not column, row and align items of center. Okay. All right, it's looking good. So for the text, uh, that is this one. Let's write a font size of 15, a font weight of 600, and a bit of spacing towards the left margin left of 5, and save it. Now I think the text is looking a bit bigger. So let's just increase the font size to 17. Okay, and for the uh, the icon, just a margin left of five. Okay, so if I press on the back icon, we should pretty much go back to the previous screen. 
so let us initialize uh, navigation here as well so cans navigation equals to use navigation and over here let us provide that on press okay so let us just write navigation dot go back okay so on press of that button we should pretty much go back to the previous screen let's give it a try yeah so we are correctly coming into the correct screen and we are able to navigate back as well okay so now what we do is we pretty much uh, yeah, we also have another text to be rendered so that is over here right after this view so the first thing we have is the icon okay so let's go grab that icon i think that is a safety icon yes and design i think it is no and design is not imported i guess let's import it and let's also copy the render component code and let us paste it over here this is the first thing we require okay so this so next thing is the text okay which says your safety our priority save the file let's give this color yellow instead of uh, black uh, no we can't see anything okay, let's give let's say orange okay so for the view uh, let us write a flexure action of row and then align items of center save the file a bit of padding okay i don't think padding was required just let's give a margin top and margin left of five the text is not matching with the icon right the text is uh, looking a bit upward to the icon so let us uh, cancel the align items of center and then check it out nope that doesn't make any change never mind just let's give a padding top to the text yeah now it's matching bit of padding left okay so the next thing we do is we will initialize the horizontal a uh, date picker so that we can uh, select the dates that we want to go to okay so over here new tab so horizontal date picker react native yeah so let's go over here the first link and let's install the package okay it's not showing anything let us search this one pretty much that should work but let's see let's select the second link and check it out uh no we do not want this but this is pretty much not showing anything right let's search it up yeah so this is the one which we wanted so let's make use of yarn and then let's add the package okay so new terminal and hit enter 
so that should uh, pretty much install the package that we are using okay so next let us just uh, copy this one we have given and then right after the text that is this one let us paste it over here and let's also import it from the correct package over here at the top and save the file let's see hopefully it should work so let's give the date of 22 22 so let me write august 25th to let's say 30th we'll show five days or 24th let's say 24th save the file okay moment Jalali could not be found with the project in these directories getting error okay so uh, let us install that package and check, uh, check it so yarn add moment Jalali and hit enter hopefully this should work let's give it a try okay text strings must be rendered within a text itself why is that happening okay because of the semicolon right save now let's give a try yes we are able to see the dates coming up so if you press on that okay can't find variable set selected date okay so let us initialize with the help of use state over here so const uh, selected date uh, comma set selected date equals to not this value that's going to be use state with empty string okay uh, let's import it from react let's save the file yeah it's coming properly it's working fine we're able to scroll through it okay so yes that is it about the date part so now what we do is we render uh, different malls so let us first uh, get the malls data okay i have prepared that as well so copy the malls data so this will be sent in the description below so don't need to worry about the data part so let's create a new file uh, that is uh, malls.js and then let's just paste it over here yeah so in this data we have a unique id for each of the mall the name of the mall and the show times that are present and we have pretty much the table data so this is mainly for the the theater screen so each mall will of course have a different theater screen so that's the reason i've uh, i've just copied the table data for each of the malls present so yeah let us go back to our movie screen okay so right after the the date picker we are going to show the malls okay so let us first import the data so let's import uh come on malls from the data folder so let's initialize the data so const malls data equals to malls okay so now what we do is we are going to make use of let's say the map function so malls data dot map for every item in the malls data now we are going to render a principle <coughs> so first let us import a uh, the principle from react native okay so this principle will contain a text let's write item dot name the mall name pretty much save the file yeah so you can see all the malls coming up and let's also give the key to it it's going to be index okay yeah so for the style let's give a margin of 10 all right and let's increase the font size for the text 
let's say font size of 16 and font weight of uh, 500 <coughs> save the file all right okay uh, now what we do is uh, on press of each of the mall we should be able to show the the show times okay uh, so let us make use of the state first over here let us write const malls comma set malls equals to use state of uh, empty array okay i think malls is already initialized so let's let's just write mall and set mall okay so save the file once and then on press of the name of the mall what we are going to do is we are going to write set mall to be a item dot name okay and we are going to save the file let's give the format once so let's console.log the data if you are getting it in the correct way so console.log mall selected and save the file so now if i press on any one of the mall that should be present in the console.log so uh, let's remove the other console.logs that is not required all right so the first one yeah we are able to get the malls that we are able to press on okay so if we only press on the malls we are only go uh, then going to show the show times okay then what we do is uh, right after the text we are going to write a condition if mall not malls if mall dot includes item dot name we are going to render something come on okay else we are simply not going to show anything that is in the initial screen nothing we are uh, in the initial th uh, stage that is uh, when we enter the screen we are not going to show any show time right only on on press of any one of the malls we are going to show the show times so over here we are going to render the flat list okay so let's import uh, the flat list from react native okay and uh, save the file so yeah uh, let's think how can we do it so if we go to our malls.js we have the show times and we have the table data right so over here inside our movie screen uh yeah uh, on press of the mall let us also initialize the show times okay so const show times comma set show times equals to use state so over here on press of the I don't think we actually need another state for show times right because we already mapping over here so let's just provide the data over here so data is going to be a uh, item dot show times okay I don't think we, we we need this okay because we are already mapping to the malls data and inside the malls data we pretty much have access to show times right so the data is going to be item dot show times and uh, let's write the render item this takes the item and we are going to return a pressable okay we have an error no we don't okay uh, so for each item inside the show times we are going to return a pressable which contains the text okay So text is pretty much going to be the item itself 
because in show times it's pretty much where is the data yeah so it's just going to be the item so we're just going to render the time that is present so let me save the file once yeah so since currently that is selected we are showing that so if you run the application from the start when you enter the home screen i mean the the movie screen nothing should be selected so it should not show anything so only events when you click on any one of the mall it should uh, show the show times right so let us check that out if it is working correctly or not so the second film so if i press uh, on the first mall then only it should show me if i press in, uh, if if i press on the second mall it should show me those show times right okay so now let us design the the pressable so over here uh, let's write style uh, let us give a uh, a border color of green and a padding of 10 okay and for the text what we do is font size of 16 a uh, color of green and uh, yeah font width of 500 border color we have given let's also give the border width come on so border width let's give let's say 0 0.5 and save the file whoa <laughs> that's looking weird right that's not what we wanted but why is it showing like that let's see what is happening let's remove the padding but we are not able to see anything right okay because we've written item dot name we only want the item yes okay uh let's give a specific width let's say 60 or 80 yeah 80 looks good uh let's also give a bit of border radius of seven nope three yeah three looks good and for the text uh, let us give uh, a text line of center come on all right so now what we do is we want it uh, to be in in three columns so let's write Num number of columns and set it to be three uh we have not given the margin okay so let's write uh, a margin of 10 let's also write the padding now padding of five so give a format yeah so this is pretty much uh the flat list save the file once so now if I go to the first film and then press on any one of the malls, yes, we should be able to see the, the show times for, the, for that particular mall. All right. I think let's decrease the font size a bit. It's looking a bit too big. Let's make it 15. All right. And uh, I think everything is set, right? I think it's really looking good. If I select any one of the malls, those show times are being shown. Okay so i think we can we are able to even select the dates as well okay i think that's it for this video we have pretty much completed our uh, two screens that is uh, the header part in the uh, in the home screen and we have also rendered the flat list uh, for each of the films that are present in, in the data and on click of the book button we are pretty much navigating to the next screen uh, which contains the different malls as well as we are able to select the dates over here and we are able to even show the uh, show times for any one of the mall if we click on the mall. Okay. I think that's it for the, uh, this video. Uh, let's meet you in the next video. Thank you for watching.